It's pretty important to be able to connect across the fretboard using the cage system. That's what it's all about, is not getting stuck in these positions. So often as guitar players will be stuck in just and only exist here, but these cage shapes take us across. So let's examine it in C. What we'll be doing is going from this C shape all the way up to the C shape one octave higher. And the cage shapes are gonna allow us to do that without getting stuck. So always spell caged in your head, C-A-G-E-D. Eventually you won't have to spell it, it'll just come naturally to you. You'll know that C shape connects to your A shape, your A shape connects to your G shape, your G shape connects to your E shape, your E connects to your D, and then of course D connects back to C in that circular manner. Follow along with me, make sure you have your guitar, and play the C shape, which comes next, your A shape. And always remember to locate those roots. So this root right here on your fifth string in your C shape connects to your A shape root. Same, same root. C shape to your A shape. And then this root on your third string and your A shape, right, are you with me? Connects to your G shape. You see this root right here, how it's in the G shape and in the A shape? So that's your guide point for that. Now that we're in our G shape, our six string root right here connects to our E shape. G shape to E shape, same root right there. That's gonna be true no matter what key you're in. So make sure you're following along and really getting this because this is gonna be kind of the through line throughout in all the keys. It's always your six string root, for example, in G shape connects to your six string root in your E shape. And it's always that fourth string root in your E shape connects to that fourth string root in your D shape and so forth. All of those, those roots that are connecting between shapes are true no matter what key you're in. Now check it out, we're back at the top. That second string root in your D shape connects to that second string root in your C shape. So now let's go back down and I'm gonna repeat all this information and make sure you get it. You can always press pause. I know this is a lot of information, but this is the sort of thing that's really important to understand because it's gonna be the through line in every key, every scale, all of it. These roots that are connecting from one shape to the next. So let's go backwards. We're up here at our octave of C. And just as a reminder, if you ever can't play the shape because you don't have a cutaway, I know I'm on an electric guitar. You may be on an acoustic um, or a guitar that doesn't have a cutaway. It's okay just to, to make sure you just understand it, even if you aren't physically playing it. So that second string root in our C shape, going backwards, connects to our D shape second string root. Our fourth string root in our D shape connects back to our fourth string root in our E shape. You see that? And now six string root, this for me is a really important one, those six string roots and fifth string roots, because those are a little bit easier for me to see and understand. Six string root in our E shape connects backwards to our six string root in our G shape. That's six string, six string. And now our third string root, which is the, you know, the higher strings in our G shape, connects to that third string root in our A shape. And now that we're almost at the end, we almost made it back to home base, that fifth string root in our A shape connects back down to our fifth string root in our C shape. And then we made it all the way from one end, back to the top, back to the other end. My homework for you today is three different exercises. These three exercises go up and down the fretboard in the key of C. Exercise one goes up using our cage shapes in the key of C. Exercise two goes down in the key of C and exercise three goes up and down. If you're having trouble keeping up, you can always just press pause and do it on your own a little bit slower. Exercise one is going up in the key of C. For your C shape and A shape, we'll go root, root, strum. So it's a total of one measure. One, two, three, switch. Same thing in A shape. For our G shape, it's a little different. We're gonna go root, strum, root, strum. So that still is one measure, but we're breaking it down into two pieces. For our E shape, we're actually not gonna play that top root. I think you know it now. We'll go as follows. Root, root, 
strum, switch, and then for a D shape, same thing, root, root, strum. We'll do that from our C shape up to our C shape. I'll count you in, follow along with me. One, two, three, four. One, two, strum, switch, root, root, strum, switch, root, strum, root, strum, root, root, strum, switch, root, root, strum, now the octave, root, root, strum to the beginning with one, two, three, again, root, root, strum, switch, root, root, strum, switch, root, strum, root, strum, root, root, strum, D shape, root, root, strum, last thing, root, root, strum. It's okay if you're not playing it perfectly. This is more about the visualization than accuracy of nailing down these chords. Okay, in exercise two, we're gonna go down. This is a little more challenging, be patient. And as a reminder, if you don't nail down the sound, that's okay. This is all about visualization. So make sure you know where the roots are, you know where the shapes are, you know where they connect. And if you're physically not like struggling and not playing it perfectly, that's totally okay because that's not what this is about. The cage system is about being able to visualize all these shapes up and down your fretboard. Are you ready to go backwards? It's gonna be the same sort of system of root, root, strum, going back down with the variation on the G shape. And we will do this two times around with that same one measure, sort of taking a breath to get back up to the top. Okay, follow along with me, I'll catch you in. One, two, three, four. Root, root, strum, down. Root, root, strum to our E shape. Root, root, strum. G shape. Root, strum. Root, strum. Root, root, strum. Last shape. Root, root, strum to the beginning. And one, two, three, four. Root, root, strum to our D shape. Root, root, strum. E shape. Root, root, strum. G shape. Root, strum. Root, strum. Root, root, strum. Last chord. Root, root, strum. For exercise three, I want you to go both up and then down. And we'll do this two times around. We'll go up, down, one measure break, up, down, one measure break. And I'm gonna play that C shape octave one time. One side note, notice I'm saying switch. So be sure to move during that time. We always wanna be thinking ahead. And this is true it just in music in general. If you're on a C shape and you're trying to get to an A shape, don't wait till it's time to be on the A shape to get into the A shape. And that concept's true with everything. Okay, I'll count you in. One, two, three, four. Root, root, strum, switch. Root, root, strum, switch. Root, strum, root, strum. Root, root, strum, switch. Root, root, strum, switch. Root, root, strum, now backwards. Root, root, strum, back. Root, root, strum, switch. Root, strum, root, strum. Root, root, strum, switch. Wait, one, two, three to the top and root, root, strum, switch. Root, root, strum, switch. Root, strum, root, strum. Root, root, strum, switch. Strum, 
switch. Root, root, strum, switch to D, root, root, strum, switch, root, root, strum, switch to G shape. Root, strum, root, strum, and root, root, strum, switch, root, root, strum. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, feel free to drop a comment below or maybe have a suggestion on what our next tutorial should be. Now, if you want to continue learning, we've got you sorted. Check out this tutorial right here. Or if you want to apply what you've learned on a backing track featuring a live band, check this out. And if you feel like your guitar playing is plateauing by learning here on YouTube, get a free pickup music membership for 14 days. So if you're ready to take your guitar playing to the next level, click the link below in the description and I'll see you inside.